Hey guys, and welcome back to day four with the KV-1S in the week of. We are on Himmelsdorf, and as you can see, the no new Lokastans mod pack is including this percentage win thingy XVM mod. Not a fan of it, but I recorded this with like close to zero um, time left to uh, to upload the episode at 12, 12.30 around that time, so I decided just to keep it in because this is just a replay and I'm not using it to get any special thingy thing. I was live streaming yesterday and played this game so people will know that I didn't play with it and it doesn't really matter really I just don't like it and um, right now it is in the Locustans mod pack so if you really want it right now you can go and get it quickly but um, Locustan will make uh, two versions now or add a folder in there that says something like enable XVM stats something I don't really know but um, there will be an option for you to um, to eliminate it and keep it so uh, you just do whatever you want um, uh, I think I would only use this for like analyzing replays you know uh, if a game was played very well I wanted to check if the other players were great but I could also just check that being inside the game just checking their stats but nah that's not how it's going to work apparently but uh, yeah I'm up against a black prince with that with another black prince and I do damage to him and he keeps damaging me oh he bounces there so I'm gonna hide behind this black prince because the black prince can't penetrate the black prince so hooray <laughs> they're going to slug it out against each other and I kill the other uh, Black Prince here, so he doesn't do any more damage to our Black Prince. And I keep hiding behind the Black Prince. This is allowed. If the enemy can't penetrate the tank that's in front of you, you're totally allowed to just sit in front of him and... Or sit behind him and let him soak up some damage. Now, I obviously didn't aim well enough there on the uh, the KV-1S and it bounced. And here's a Yak Panzer, uh, or oh, Flat Panzer 4 get my triple kill it is all fine and dandy we're gonna go around this wreck here it's going to be wreck city here I push a little bit on the Churchill because he could move a little bit up and uh, do some damage I aim 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 and then get the kill and that was the ultra kill I'm thinking about like I'm asking Lucas Dan to change the godlike to uh, the ultra combo thingy from uh, Killer Instinct because I just love that game and that dude yelling ULTRA! I want that in there. Maybe just for me. I like that. Take a snapshot there and miss him. Now as we can see now in the replay he is a pretty decent player. He's not bad. He's not great. Um, but he is green. I get set on fire, and fire obviously messes up your aim, as we can see there. It just blew out to a huge proportion of uh, the uh, the zoomed in that I've already done. I was already aiming. Now I'm just waiting. I have no idea what this dude is um, what this dude is thinking or how good he is at this time. I'm just thinking I'll wait because if he wants to come out here and take a shot, then I'll be waiting. And he shouldn't be coming out here. And I, I get the multi-kill, but I do wait way too... No, wait. I'm di I didn't do wait, wait way too long. I just sat there with the, um, the crosser way too high. Should have been aiming a little bit more low, so when he came around the corner, I could hit his lower plate a lot faster. So that was a small error for me. But yeah, that's the game. I won't catch up to uh, the IS-2 or the RD, and they're just going to die on the hill. So let's move on. And we're moving on to a game on Abbey. And nothing has happened. We have met no enemies on the left side of the map, the west. I get a very good hit here on the, um, I think it's the new VK3001M. Get a very good hit on that one. And then decide to write the enemy team, where is your team? But I write it to my team and then I have to stop and write it again, where is your team, to the enemy team. But then we see that the Comet and the bigger tanks are in the base. So I ping there. Or Maximus does. And I say, defend the base. 
and then I just roll back because the KV-1S has the speed to just roll back and defend the base very quickly. Now the enemy is not going to do what I think it's going to do. I thought it was going to start capping because there's only Artie in the base. They don't know that of course, but still, I thought they would be capping about now. But the Panzerkampfwagen 34 is more uh, interested in kills. So we're going to have a good chance of coming back. Oh, as we can see here, I turned off the uh, the stats uh, for this mod or for this game. I just didn't really have time. In my opinion, I didn't have time, but I, I did have time. I could have just put uh, set it off, turn it off. Decided to take a snapshot just because uh, I could have just stopped and aimed, I suppose, and probably saved our arty. But who want to save scumbags? No, really. I should have stopped and aimed and shot at the um, <coughs> shot at the dude instead. The uh, I think the um, the RD is going to die. Yeah, I'm fighting against the Churchill one. It's no matchup. It's actually quite super unfair because the Churchill one can't penetrate me unless I'm showing my side, like the first shot where uh, he got a free shot in on me there. Uh, the Panzerkampfwagen 34 is coming around the corner. And no. <laughs> Good job. Takes him out. That is his name. I named him. Um, and then a T34 one controlling and a ding because I hit him straight in the face, right on the turret. So it was not a very good shot there, Christian. Very bad. Very bad. Very bad. But I do get a. Very good shot on this KV-1. He obviously gets scared and fires before. Double kill. He should have, and the shot goes high. And here, the Cromwell thinks that he's not say he thinks he's safe, but he's not. Two tanks trying to hide behind a small little Stewart. And this shot, this shot goes super high and dings on a comet. Are you kidding me? Are you, ki uh, uh, are you kidding me? Seriously. Yeah, I uh, roll in and get the kill on him. Or oh, well, not the kill on him. I uh, go in there, ram him, just to get him down to low HP. Uah. Boom. I've done that before, but he dies of this. But yeah, two not-so-spectacular games in the KV-1S. I told you it wouldn't get very pretty in these last couple of games. So yeah, that's it. See you tomorrow, guys.